All right, I've had so many people ask for another gnome painting, so let's do a Valentine's Day theme. I'm taking my mop brush with some tan and white and doing up and down strokes, and I'm using stretch canvas for this one. And then I'm gonna make sure it's really dry because we're gonna do a lady gnome. I'm gonna make a dress shape this time, which is a half circle, kind of flared out, and paint it in a dark red. I'm also gonna give her two arms, one going up to the right and one going down to the left this time. They're kind of sticking out a little further. Now I'm gonna give her a nose. I'm gonna use some light pink and tan, even a little bit of that red and add her nose at the top of her dress. And then let's add some detail to her dress. I'm gonna do kind of a lighter pink apron and fill that in. You can make it as detailed as you want. Honestly, up till last week, I had no idea lady gnomes even existed. Let's even add some pink to her sleeve. And I'm gonna take a detail brush and add some swirly lines to her dress. I'm taking white and just a little bit of pink for that. Let's add some hearts for Valentine's Day. I'm gonna do three big ones at the bottom and two little ones in the middle. There we go. Get detailed with it. I'd love to see what you do. Let's do some squirrels on the arms even. Make them kind of look like hot dogs. <laughs> That's okay. And let's give her some hot pink shoes. Two little half circles at the bottom of her dress so she's standing on something. Perfect. And I'm gonna even outline her apron. I'm even gonna do a little second coat to make it brighter. See, I always change my mind when I'm doing details like this, so feel free to experiment. And now let's do some braids because she's gonna be clean shaven. I'm just gonna do some lines that swirl down from the side of her nose, crossing over each other to give the illusion of braids, making a little wider up towards the top of her nose, so gonna be above her nose a little bit, and then going down in front of her dress. You can even extend the bottoms a little bit because I'm gonna make it look like they're tied with bows. Um, I think she's gonna be super cute. There we go, let's frill that out and let's give her a chin. Okay, you gotta help me. Is she considered a lady gnome or a lady gonk? Because you're still gonna see part of her face but you're not gonna see her eyes, only her nose. And I am gonna give her hands so do some tan ovals on the outside of her sleeves. And let's do a hat, make sure it goes over top of the nose, but goes over the edge of the braids, kind of curves out like that. And instead of making the hat go up and over to the right, I'm gonna make it go up and over to the left and more of a tighter swirl there and fill it in with some hot pink. Oh, so cute. I love all these different shades of pinks and reds. And because she's gonna be older like my Christmas gnome, I'm gonna add some gray shading to her braids. You can make them a little bit more detailed and add two red bows. Oh, so cute. All right, and I'm gonna take my medium round brush again and add a smooth line this time to the bottom of her hat and some polka dot designs. I'm even gonna add a heart to the tassel instead of a little pom pom, so cute. Don't forget those highlights. And surprise, I gave her heart balloons. I don't know why my camera didn't film that, but I did three different shades, dark red, bright red, and hot pink. And then I did some hot pink uh, little strings going down from each one going through that hand that I put up. And don't forget to do some highlights. There we go. And highlights to the nose. And of course, because she's a figure, I am going to outline certain areas just to make her stand out from the background. So taking my detail brush, you can add any details you want. I'm gonna outline the hands, her sides, her shoes. I'm even gonna do the hearts and add even more uh, shading and highlights. Do shading to the nose. I did highlights to the hands and the feet. And as a final touch, let's give her a little smirk. There we go. And then for the edges of the painting, I did snow on my Christmas gnome, but I'm gonna do the same thing in just red and pinks, the same shades I've been using. I'm gonna do each of the edges, just bouncing in some texture. And there we go. Aw, they make such a cute couple. I officially have a Valentine for my Christmas gnome. I'll probably add glitter to the hearts later, so have fun with it, do as many details as you want, and happy early Valentine's Day.